Good morning students. We are discussing about water resource engineering and hydrology. We are studying on the water resource planning and its development. Well, in today's lecture, we will discuss about some types of water resource development projects and the level of planning for the water resources. So, starting with the types of water resources development projects. Well, the water resources development projects are usually classified on the basis of number of purpose that served by that particular project. So, according to that, it classified into two categories. First, that is the single purpose project and multi purpose project. Well, a single purpose project is the one which is designed and operated to serve only one purpose. For an example, we can say the irrigation project or any water supply project or some project may be done for the navigation purpose and fishing purpose. So these are the individual purposes that is being uh, fulfilled by a particular project. The next one that was the multi-purpose project. Well, multi-purpose project is the one which is designed and operated to serve two or more purposes. It may be noted that a project which is designed for a single purpose but which incidentally also serves some other purposes. So that will not considered in the multi-purpose project. But a project that basically constructed or that basically designed for the multi-purposes that is known as the multi-purpose project. Well, water resources are one of the most important natural resources which is available in abundance. Well, however, with the world population increasing at a faster rate, it is imperative that maximum use can be made of the water resources and the concept of this multiple use is essential to such a maximum use. Yes. So, moreover, multiple use of project facility may increase the benefits without a proportional increase in the cost and thus it enhance the economic justification for that particular project. As such, most of the major water resources development projects are planned for the multi-purpose projects. Okay. Now, if we see the level of planning, well, many levels of planning occurs within each country. Well, regional planning groups may exist in a various regions of every country. River basin planning requires river basin management units. These units must ensure that condition between the various activities within the river basin. Well, planning of specific action is the lowest level of the plan. But it is at this level that important decisions that determine the effectiveness of the water management are made. Well, basically, if we see the level of the projects that known as the project planning. Now, depending upon the area that covered under the planning of water resources project, that is the uh, local level, regional level, state level, national and international level. Okay, so these five are the levels for the project planning. Let's get brief about these levels. First level of uh, water resource project planning is the local level when a water resource scheme is planned for a very small area or uh, we can say the village that is known as the local level plan well local level planning includes watershed development plan for that village it may also include uh, uh, rainwater harvesting techniques soil conservation methods also check them will help in enhancing the water resources at the local level well if we talk about our state that in gujarat a large number of check dams have been constructed under the sardar patel sahbagidari jal sanchay yojana so under this particular program we are in gujarat there are many check dams has been constructed well the second level that is the regional level 
water resources planning covering comparatively larger area with several villages and that is known as the regional plan it includes uh, construction of uh, minor irrigation schemes construction of medium irrigation schemes for an example uh, let's say construction of machuram in gujarat near the morbi so that is constructed for the irrigation schemes okay in case of regional planning better cooperation is required among the several agencies working at a particular local or the street level construction then the third that is the state level now when a regional level planning covers several districts of a state uh, that is known as the state level plan for example kadana dam in the gujarat over the mahi river that serving the district like kheda anand and vadodara okay narmada water supply pipeline uh, that network that is in saurashtra okay that is also a state level uh, water resource project okay fourth that is the national level right when water resource planning is carried out for a major river basin for a particular nation that is known as the national level water resource project plan the sardar sarovar dam is also a national level plan which is constructed over the river narmada okay and the beneficiary of that project that is to the gujarat state madhya pradesh state maharashtra state and rajasthan also okay so this particular project covers all four these states and that's why uh, this project is considered as a national level project because it is beneficiary to the nation also well the fifth and last one that is the international level plan when river running across the neighboring nations and the water resource planning that is required at international level for an example uh, we can say river koshi that is near the uh, nepal which rises from the nepal and uh, it flows in the bihar that is in india and finally it meets river ganga as a major tributary okay but the origin of this river koshi is nepal so this is considered as the international level project okay now river sindhu which is rises in india and it flows in jammu kashmir and then it merges in pakistan so the construction or the project on the river sindhu that is uh, that planning is for the international level project plan understood okay now let's discuss about some functional requirement of this multi purpose project because more of more of the projects are uh, the multi purpose projects so what are the functional requirements of this projects well a multi purpose project is designed to serve a number of purposes the purpose usually served are irrigation hydro power uh, flood control water supply navigation recreation all those purposes now the water requirements for this function are quite different if this requirements are compatible uh the stored water is used more effectively because it would simultaneously serve more than one purpose so but of this uh, that water should be uh, that water will be used more effectively well if we uh, talk about the uh, water requirements for the various functions and those are the first that is the irrigation right water requirement for irrigation in india are usually seasonal the maximum demand for irrigation water is during winter for ravi crops however there is usually a small demand of water for kharif crops during the summer season and just prior this to the onset of monsoon well water requirements for the irrigation are generally higher in a year of low rainfall 
but the average demand does not vary greatly from year to year okay if the irrigated area remains the same since the irrigation storage is an insurance against the drought it is desirable to maintain as much reserve storage as possible for the future irrigation use the next functional requirement that is the water supply right water requirements for domestic water supply are more or less nearly constant throughout the year in comparison to the irrigation demands but the maximum seasonal variation is experienced during the summer season normally due to increase in population water supply demand increases slowly every year and thus the provision of this increase or the, this increment should be made in a planning process so to avoid water shortage during the drought adequate storage should be maintained in the reservoir so that at the time of demand we can arrange a better water supply and fulfill all the demands while well, the third functional requirement that is the hydroelectric power well power demand usually varies appreciably from season to season and that is depending on the area that served most of the power plants are part of an interconnected system and therefore considerable flexibility can be exercised in coordinating power that needs with the other uses of water while power production is not a consumption or consumptive use of water and thus this is more compatible with other uses water released from the reservoir for the irrigation purpose can be passed through turbines to generate the power or we can say the electricity the fourth requirement that is the flood control there are many projects that has been uh, done for specifically flood control so the basic requirements of flood control is that there should be a lot of empty space in the reservoir so that the flood water can be stored in that particular reservoir so the flood control use is therefore not compatible with other uses which require that the adequate water should be stored in the reservoir however the flood control requirement is a seasonal as it is only uh, required during the rainy season okay now the fifth uh, functional requirement that is the navigation the requirement for inland navigation are that there should be adequate flow in the river that to maintain the required depth water is released from the storage reservoir to sustain the downstream flow for the navigation there is a marked seasonal variation in the demand and generally the peak releases are required during the summer months when the natural flow is low the next that is the recreation it is rare to design a large reservoir well it is rare to design a large reservoir for a recreational purpose only and any recreational benefits are usually entirely incidental to the other function of the project the ideal recreational reservoir is one which remains nearly full during the recreational season to permit the boating to permit fishing swimming and any other water sports so to enhance this recreational activities such kind of projects can be obtained and that would consider as a functional requirement of those projects then also fish and wildlife so the protection of fish uh, there should not be a large or rapid uh, fluctuation in the water level of the reservoir the 
there is a fluctuation it may affect the water animals moreover the flow of downstream of the dam should not be completely stopped as it would lead to destruction of the fish and wildlife well fish ladders and other suitable arrangements are required at the dam to permit the migratory fish to travel upstream as well as the downstream well the aid that is the sanitation the maintenance of adequate flows downstream in the main sanitary function of the reservoir usually this may be easily combined with the release of water for other functions and the secondary sanitary requirements in some areas may be that the reservoir be operated to control the mosquitoes growth and this is usually achieved by causing rapid fluctuation of water level so these eight are the functional requirement of multi purpose projects and those are irrigation water supply hydroelectric power flood control navigation recreation fish and wildlife and the sanitation so we are racing our lecture with this topic Thank you so much students for your kind attention i hope you understand this topic thank you so much i will see you in the next lecture